This video is specially made for the new research scholars who have started their research journey. So don't skip this video and watch completely to better understanding about the concept of how to choose the journal for your research article. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for latest update. So now we'll start how to find out the appropriate journal for your research article. For that first go to a Google search. In that type journal finder elsewhere. The first option will be the journal finder website. You can see it is journalfinder.elsewhere.com. So in this website, as I already mentioned that you need to have a tentative title and abstract and keyword. So here have a tentative title. For example, I'll copy this title. I have pasted it and have my tentative uh, abstract. This abstract, as I already mentioned that uh, when you have uh, your results and you think that result can be published in journal, then obviously you know what is your abstract. So type your, uh, uh, your uh, abstract and then paste it here and find some keywords relevant to your research out. So here for me it is energy. So once I type that energy in drop down, I will have some uh, appropriate keywords. So I can take energy absorption efficiency and then we type smart grid. And uh, So electricity consumers etc so you can fill your keywords etc here and then uh, for more accurate uh, search option give the field of research also so I'll take here uh, energy as my field one of my field and then engineering So you can give your own domain, maybe engineering, business, economics, arts and science, physics, chemistry, any domain, all these domains will be covered in elsewhere journal or elsewhere publisher. Under that, uh, what is your suitable journal uh, you can find. So give the field of research you are doing. And for a more refined search, uh, someone may need openness uh, if they're getting some sponsor from external uh, funding body. So they need some, uh, they can go for uh, OpenSS journal also. So to find out journal that offers golden OpenSS and then some journal will give uh, subscriptions for it. So uh, you can opt both the things if you have some fund and if you don't have you may close this. Okay. So in the case I am opening the both the uh, both the options and then general impact. So this uh, general impact will uh, uh, you can filter if you feel that your work is uh, more novel and uh, unique work then you can give for higher site score and impact factor it's purely depend upon the work you have carried out and the time decision with uh, the time to uh, take the first decision so usually in the weeks we can give say so, suppose if you are very urgent you can give for uh, lesser weeks or if you are okay with uh, higher uh, I mean, uh, without the time limit uh, just you want to publish in a good journal even some good journals will publish in a less time, so it is purely depend upon your time, uh, your uh, uh, time availability. Then time to publish. So uh, once the paper is accepted, then how much time it will be taken to publish in online or uh, uh, in a printable journal. So this is second option. You can give any option uh, here. So for this example, I left as default so I opted all the journals I want to find out for my uh, what uh, uh, title and abstract and keywords so once this uh, you filled find click on the find journal the below and it will take some time to uh, may, uh, find some suitable journal for your uh, text that you have pasted in abstract and then title so the first will be uh, the most appropriate or most 
uh, what suitable journal it will show. Say for example, if you see the sustainable city and society, it the text matches maximum about five points it is, and topic matches keyword called smart grid. So these are the uh, two I mean a text match and then with the uh, keyword it shows uh, the suitable journal for me is sustainable city and society, and some of the additional details it gives that size so a score is 10.7 and then it is growing upwards it means the graph shows that whether it is reducing or uh, it's going up with over the time of period and also it shows the impact factor of the journal this impact factor is purely from uh, taken from the thompson and Reuters website they are giving this impact factor details so it also shows that uh, a quite improvement in the impact factor over the time of the period and next important things you need to consider is acceptance ratio. So for example, 100 papers if they are getting as a research article or review article, only 13 paper usually they will accept because they are, uh, they are making the standard or uh, the level of uh, work will be very high then only they will accept. So the acceptance ratio of this, uh, this journal called the Sustainable City and Society is 13%. And then uh, one more detail they have given time to first decision is four week. Means because maybe it is a review or research, you will uh, get to know whether it is uh, it is going to next level of uh, editorial I mean, uh, from editor to reviewer. So the first decision time it will take four weeks usually, but it may uh, it may uh, take uh, one week or two week extra or maybe sooner also. So. In average, four weeks will take to uh, give the decision of first. And then, once your paper is accepted after uh, review is over, then it will take four week time to publish in online or offline. That is the printable version or maybe in the online version. Both case, in average of four week, it will take to publish. So these are all the primary details you will get uh, when you uh, give the search option. And not only this journal, but also some of the uh, other journals which is more relevant to your uh, uh, searching topic is also given here. Say for example, Applied Energy, which matches three points of the text match, match score. And then uh, the Smart Grid keyword is matches with this. Here also the site score is a bit higher than the first uh, journal uh, that is Sustainable City and Society. Here it is 17.6 and it is also increasing. Uh, over the time of period and the impact factor is also a bit higher than the previous journal it is 9.746 and you can see the acceptance ratio is a bit uh, lesser than the previous one and the more or less the time taken for the first decision is four weeks for both the cases so if you feel that your journal is more uh, uh, what uh, upper, I mean more novel and then uh, unique uh, way of results you get and comparison is very uh, pro profitable in your results finding then you can go for the higher impact factor and then you can take on decision but still some scholar is very urgent they need to get the first decision very quick then they can go for uh, searching the below one you can find lesser than four weeks some journals will be there say for example in this case uh, uh, that is one journal uh, the first decision will take in two weeks and here also you can see the journal name is sustainable uh, production and consumption here the text text match score is very uh, very less or very minimum uh, only one point is there but still you may visit that website inside the website and then you can check the scope of that journal and if you believe that your work is uh, matching with the scope of the journal still you can uh, submit your paper in this journal and you can see here also the site score is 6.7 and impact factor is lesser than the first two journals we have seen in the previous case and the acceptance ratio is again it is a very high that is uh, the getting acceptance is very difficult in this paper in this journal that is 13 percent but you can uh, have a decision within two weeks so that you can uh, uh, you can uh, go for another journal if it is not accepted or you may uh, get published very soon if it is accepted by the editor and sent to the reviewer so accordingly you can choose which journal you need to publish where by uh, taking the decision of the impact factor maybe or maybe the time taken for the first decision and then acceptance ratio some may feel that i need more acceptance ratio because uh, i need to get my paper published so i don't bother about the time 
for those people can go for the acceptance ratio with higher uh, points like maybe or 35 percent you can see in the energy report the first decision is five week and uh, the acceptance ratio is 35 and you can see that impact factor is 6.87 so it is a good journal even you're getting a, a decent uh, uh, time frame of five weeks and also the acceptance ratio is very high and the text math score is two point that is okay for us to uh, but anyway that is uh, it is very very important to go to that website and see the scope of uh, uh, the scope of that particular journal uh, and then you can take a decision whether you need to apply for uh, this journal or not so for example in this case i will go to the, go for the first option called uh, uh, sustainable city and society let like, click on that if you click on that you will get more uh, more uh, detail be detailed uh, information of that particular journal say for example the subject areas covered here is renewable energy sustainable and then environment uh, civil and structure engineering geographic uh, geographic planning and development and transportation so these are all the subject areas usually they will cover and the recent journal will show you a, a good idea about how much time it has been taken to publish so for example if i click this article called monitoring the effect of urban development on urban heat so i'll click that in a right click and open a new tab so that you can come back again for this website and then i'm going here and then you can see this is the one of the recent article published in the uh, in this journal called sustainable city and society so here you can see after the title and then author's name there is something called a drop down shows that show more if you, if you click that you can see the author's affiliations and below that you can see the time frame or the or the uh, or the dates usually uh, dates the authors took to communicate with the journals is shown here so for example the article is received in 9th march 2021 and then it is revised in july so it means that from March 2021 to July 2021, the review time is taken place. Maybe it may be uh, it went for two reviews or three reviews. We don't uh, know that details. But from uh, starting day to the end of the review process, the revised for process is takes around March uh, to July. So once they have submitted the revised version of this paper, and then it took. Uh, only at least seven days to accept so this is the second accept after revision is submitted by the author so the journal took seven days to accept that article so after accepting so uh, within four days it is on pop, uh, on online and it is available on online means it shows that within four days they have published after the acceptance so this shows uh, this shows the duration usually or time frame they usually take for uh, editorial as well as the uh, reviewing process as well as the acceptance and uh, I mean uh, publication. So these are all the time, uh, time frame, uh, frame we understand from one of these articles. Such a way that you can go for another articles also, uh, another uh, uh, article which is published in that particular journal and you can find the time frame usually they will take. So this will give you the idea whether we can uh, upload or submit our article to this journal or not. It's purely depend upon the scholars um, uh, time availability and they can take a decision accordingly. And scope, uh, journal scope will show you what are the research area usually they will cover or uh, uh, they need uh, some papers on this research articles and if you feel that your work is uh, more suitable for this journal and from editorial uh, from editor to accepting from the editor is more uh, what uh, more possible um, possibilities are there to send to the reviewer so first thing is you need to see the general scope whether your research or i mean uh, research work is um, uh, coming under the scope of this journal and it's always better to go to that particular website of this journal so I click here to find out the journal information more on this journal information so click on the journal website and it will open in a new tab and this website shows you a clear detail about a guide for the authors so on click on the guide for the authors here you will get all the basic uh, information on that particular journal so how you need to prepare your article to publish all those details will be available in this 
guide for authors so once you understand all these concepts then uh, once again you need to test whether the induction of this journal is genuine or not usually in elsewhere you will not get any false data because it's reputation but usually you may feel that whether it is uh, uh, indexed in scopus or whether it is indexed in science citation index from thomson reuters if you want to uh, understand those details then uh, try to find the issn number of this particular journal so i'm going to find the issn number the issn number in uh, will be available in the journal finder itself just copy that issn number and then go to google again and then find go to the scopus website itself this website you can some, uh, you can see in the right corner called source click on that source and then choose in the drop down there will be title publisher and issn number i am going to choose this issn number and then paste the issn number you copied from the journal finder of the particular journal and click on the find journal and you can see if it is indexed in the scopus you can see the name of the journal here and also its site score and then citations with the respective different times time frame all those details will be getting here so click on that particular journal i can can you can able to find out whether the scopus is covered in presently or not uh, why because in some case uh, the scopus will be shown in the first page but uh, it may be discontinued in last year or previous year so you need to make sure that uh, it is uh, giving uh, from and the present situations or um, from and present status okay so this will give you uh, the coverage of uh, uh, scopus index is available for sustainable cities and society and also if you want to find more detail on site score the site score is nothing but the total number of citation up to the date divided by the total number of documents submitted to it so if uh, they have already calculated it and showing the site score it is 10.7 it is uh, better uh, and it's, uh, it's a it is a good uh, indication that the journal is high quality and also you can find uh, the site score and ranking with comparing to the different uh, other journals with different categories say for example if i want to find out in a renewable and sustainable environment so under that category uh, under that category there are totally 195 journals available out of that uh, it scores 24th rank it means this particular journal called sustainable uh, cities and society is is 24 in rank so it's it's again shows the uh, better betterness or uh, goodness of this journal so these are all the details we'll collect from the scopus and one conclusion is this journal is uh, currently indexed in scopus and if you want to find out this journal uh, whether this journal is indexed in science citation index or not for that you can uh, again google called uh, sci journal search that is uh, science citation index uh, they will call usually as sci so sci journal search in that the first option will be web of science uh, master journal list click that and at that you can uh, in the search bar you can paste your issn number of the particular journal and then click on the search here also we can see it is covering under science citation index expanded so uh, we come to conclusion that the uh, sustainable cities and societies is again indexed in web of science as well as science citation index so this is how we need to uh, find or uh, uh, find the appropriate journal for your research article then uh, we can submit our journal thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and share this video